My last video about Next UI got quite a lot of traction and in that video I have mentioned that I would be making a video on Next UI form validation. So this is the video. So today we are going to dive deep into the Next UI form validation and we will see how we can use the most popular schema validation library Zod with Next UI to build a perfect form validation solution. So if you are new to the channel hit the subscribe button and don't forget to like the video. So let's go to the screen and let's see how to add form validation using Next UI and Zod. Alright so let's start off by creating a Next 3 project. So I'm inside the project directory now let's run our favorite command npx nuxi in it and I would call it next UI form. All right, let's cd into the directory. Before I run the application, let's just install the few dependencies that is needed. So first thing I'll install, I will install the next uh, UI. So just go to the installation guide and just copy it from here and then paste it on your terminal. Okay, so our next UI is added. Now let's also install the Zord. All right, so our dependencies are now installed. Now let's run the application pnpm dev. So it should run the application. So now we can open it up in our browser. So as you can see, we have the website. Now what I'll do, I will add the next UI to our module list. So our modules array, I will add the next slash ui let's save it and i'm also going to remove the next welcome and instead i will just write hello just to see let's see what happens yeah we have the hello and you see the black background that means our next ui has been added so now the first thing i will do i will just use the container from the next ui and then inside the container i will give it a class i'll give it grid and i'll also write place content center i'll make it uh, full screen so we have a nice and centered uh, element now inside the container i will also uh, take another component uh, that is the card component so for all this component if you are not familiar with the component what you can do you can just open the uh, next ui documentation the link would be in the given in the description since we are focused only on the card uh, only on the form so we are not going to be wasting our time uh, explaining the other component other components are pretty simple you to use you just need to go to the documentation and you can just copy it but form component is a little bit uh, different there is some uh, caveat in the form so that's so let's go and let's uh, see that so let's take a card and in the card what i'll do i will get the header uh, i guess i'll just get a header and then inside the header i'll put h2 and i'll write register so let's create a register form register and as you can see we have our title uh, what i'll do i'll give this uh, a width of let's say for example uh, 500 pixel ah, yeah good enough now let's style the heading a little bit text i would give excel and i'd also give it a font font bold so yeah nice enough not not the best design but it it, it should work so now uh, we'll be uh, uh, adding our form component. So the form component start with u form, and it needs uh, it needs a a props that is required, which is the state. So state is basically the uh, the reference to the all the variable you will store for that particular form. So let's uh, let's create that. So script setup and i'll set the la language as typescript 
and inside that let's take a form reference form just form state and then inside that you'll have your reference and all your values so let's just for now let's uh, create a email that should be a string then a name also a empty string then password empty string and then password confirm that should also be a empty string now that we have that let's save it let's give the let's add the form to our state and as you can see now we don't have any a squiggly error line and now we can add our form input type so basically you can just use the u input uh, field but what i would like to use it as with uh, i would always like to use it with the form group component so let's see what the form group component is all about so then you will see the form group option here so form group option helps you to add a nice uh, accessible labels and the uh, error validation all that so we'll be using that so let's remove this from here and here let's add the u form group so it takes a name so make sure your name is matching with with the with the with the state so let's give it a name of a name and then inside that we will add our u input give it a type text and let's bind it with the form state dot name and also i'll give it a placeholder and i'll call it uh, john do nice enough now let's close this <clears throat> and let's refresh it to see if we have anything yeah we have the input field so what else i'll do i will uh, also now let's add a label to the form group so label uh, keep in mind you can also add description and hint text all of that so i'm not going to do that but if you want you can of course you can do that then the, let's do our second component as well So once our form elements are added now at the end i will add a button so use button and then i'm going to write register uh, let's give it a margin from top empty four so now our form is added now what i would like to do is i'd like to show you the different method for the validation and then we'll use the jord schema to validate our form so let's open the documentation and I would like you to see this particular section. So uh, in each, whenever you focus on any of the input field, there is one event that is getting triggered, which is the validate. So there's a, there's a props that takes a function called validate and that uh, you can just return the errors and it will show you all the validation. So in this case now, if we, if we were to validate this form using this method, so what we have to do is basically we have to uh, add a props to our form and uh, it would basically the call the functions and in the function you will get the states and it will return a form error array. What is a form error? The form error will come from the UI types and it is just basically an error that has a path and a message. So this is the basic way of how you can add the validation so the validate uh, the validate function will be run each time you will be focusing on the fields and this is how you will basically check the validation this is not what we are going to be using by the way we are going to be using the zod so since we already have the zod uh, so let's go to the zod section and let's see what they they are saying 
so what you can do you can uh, define your schema and then uh, and then you can just give the schema to your form and it will basically take care of the rest so what i will do now i will start doing that so i like to keep my schema in a different folder so if you are working with a big project then it's a better idea to keep things separate so that you can reuse those uh, schemas elsewhere as well so let's create a folder called schemas and then inside that i will create a new file i'll call it register schema.typescript so now basically what i'll do i will return our schema so export let's create the schema so our form state is basically our object which has name email password and confirm password as a property so let's add that so inside our object what we have we have a name which should be a string and we can also give the validation so if the type is invalid then the, this should happen so invalid please enter a valid name then i will also like to give a minimum of three and then i'll also give a message name should be at least three characters long so for the email we have to we can just define it as a string and then on top of that we can chain that with the email so it will check for the email and uh, we can also define our message uh, just we can just keep it like this down for the password uh, for the password would be also a string and then we can also give it a minimum of eight characters long all right so we have added a uh, validation for name email and password so let's do the same for the password uh, confirm so i'm just going to copy the above uh, line and i'm just going to write now this is a tricky part so what we have to do we have an object and now uh, zod allows us to uh, define our custom validation so for that what we have to do we have to chain that with a refine option so refine will give us a callback function so that callback function will give us access to the data and now what we can do is we can basically you know define uh, if it is uh, if it is matching so data dot password should be equal to data dot password confirm and in the second parameter we can just define our message and path so let's add the validation message so password do not match so and now i would also like to add the path so this error message should be uh, added to this particular field so i would add the path as well you can use any path you want but in our case we are just going to give the password confirm path so it should be in an array password confirm now our schemas are added now what i will do i will save it and inside our app let's import the same so import so now we can just pass the schema over to our form so we can just write schema and we can just give the schema here all right so we have added our schema now let's add uh, event listener so on submit i'll uh, we'll just write handle form submit so let's copy this one and let's go to our script and let's write function form submit event and it should be the type of form submit event it should come from the uh, next ui package and registration validation schema yeah so this should be the event should contain all these templates just for us to get the autocomplete so now our event is um, 
now we have added a listener for our form submit now let's uh, let's try to just console.log the event so what i'd like to do is event.data i'd like to console.log event.data this data should have all the form state so, so our handle form submit uh, event is added now what i would like to do uh, i see that i haven't uh, added a type for this button so the type should be submit so this button should trigger a submit event now let's make a refresh and let's try to you know write something so for the name i'll just give one and you can see i am getting a validation error and all these are coming from our very good zod library so you can make you know very complex schemas for your form and you can just use it with the form uh eu form component you don't need to install any other form validation library so before that i remembered uh in our previous project we used to use something called v validate the whole purpose of that package was to give you the form validation and now i see that this particular uh ui library has this very powerful you know integration with zod and no not only zod you can also use the other schema validation uh libraries such as joy or yup all that but i prefer zod since chances are you also be using zod in your back end and you can also use the same schemas for your front end as well so as you can see now let's uh, test our integration so now we have name so let's add a proper name and for the email i just enter something and you can see email is not valid so as as as, so, as soon as i add the valid email it uh, the error disappears so now let's add the password as well and also let's try to add something just uh, different and you can see password do not match uh, one mistake I have done is here I have given the type as password confirm which doesn't exist in HTML so it should be password so just give password and press save and now let's give a proper password and as you can see uh, our error messages are gone and this is all happening using the Zod so now click on register and yes indeed you are getting the form uh, state isn't this awesome so yeah you don't have to use any other ui library or form validation library if you uh, if you are using next ui so just the purpose for this video is to make you aware of these features that uh, you don't need to create or uh, install any other dependencies just for the form validation and i hope after watching this video now you can also get benefit of this particular feature so yeah guys that's it i guess the main purpose for this video is to show you uh, how powerful the next ui form component is and how you can get benefit of it so i hope after watching this video now you can also use this powerful feature from next ui so let me know what you think about it in the comment and if you have any question or suggestion then don't forget to join our discord or comment your query i reply on each and every comment so yeah if you have any query then please comment or join our uh, discord channel this is jahid signing off i will meet you in the next one till then stay blessed stay happy bye